Alrighty, recently I shared an Excel tips and tricks video demonstrating how to create a dynamic bubble chart in Excel that looks like the one as shown here. For today, someone had posted a question inquiring about dynamically altering the bubble size in response to the changing values in your data set. Well, this is how you do it. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a helper column on column E here. And basically, the helper column will calculate the percentage of this value against the whole value. The formula for that will be equal to this cell here, D3, divided by sum of the entire data set here. I'm going to press F4 to make a fixed uh, cell reference and then close parenthesis and you're going to multiply that by 100 and essentially you will see a value like this here so we're going to apply the same formula to the rest of the row and that's how i calculate the percentage i'm going to resize this so that uh, my chart stays at the center so once that's done the next thing you're going to have to do is to take a note of where your things are as we have already established our helper column is column e Another thing you have to note is that uh, the name of the chart. You can see my chart name is called chart tree. So with those details, you're going to right click on the sheet name here. And from this context menu, you're going to select view code. This is going to open a VBA editor here. After that, you're going to paste this VBA script here. If you like a copy of this VBA script, please leave a request on the comment section of this video. So a quick overview of this uh, VBA script. This first sections are constant and these are the things that you can change. The first one will be your sheet name. Mine is 352 right here like this. And then this is the chart name, chart tree, which we already found out. Mine is chart tree. If you have forgotten what your chart name is, you're going to have to select your chart and look at the name of the chart here. And then uh, after that, this is the helper range. E3 to E8 coincides with E3 to E8 here. So once that's done, Let's have a quick look at the VBA here. This this line here creates an object for the chart. It's like a handler so that you can make changes to the marker size. And this one here creates an object to the range of the marker size in percentage, which is your E3 to E8 here. It's basically a handle or object itself. So once you create these two objects, the chart object and the cell range object here, you're going to go through the Two, two for loops here. The first for loop is in an event. Let's say, for example, if you have multiple of such a line chart, this will help you take care of it. For my example, I've only got one line chart, so this for loop will only go through the loop once. Um, and then the second for loop, the nested loop here, uh, goes through every marker on your line chart here. Let's say, for example, uh, in this VBA, when they execute, You'll detect this very first line chart and you'll go through every marker like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And the reason for that is that it will go ahead and resize it according to whatever I specified on my helper column, which is a cell E3 to E8. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and control S to save it and close my VBA editor. Now, anytime when I make changes to any of this value, you can see, let's say if I change this to 25, you can see that the bubble size changes accordingly. If I make it this one uh, astronomically large, let's say, for example, 60, you can see that this comes in par with this. And let's say, let's say, make, let's make it a bit bigger here, maybe 90. You can see the changes, the difference and all that stuff. And if I were to change this to say, make it smaller, so it looks a bit obvious. Here you can see that the biggest uh, number will have a largest uh, size of the bubble here and you can see they change the size accordingly to that they don't look overly big because we are working with percentage and for some reason let's say for example if you find that your bubbles are too small what you can do is that you can actually uh, go to your helper column here and multiply that by two so that uh, it looks a bit larger than uh, and it looks a bit more obvious right so at least it's not so small and undersized